comeback story. She retired two-time Olympian. She's come back and looking great. Here's your world champion from 2019, Maggie McNeil, 21-year-old from London. First national team was 2019 at the senior level, and she did not disappoint. She owns four of the top five Canadian times ever. There's Rebecca Smith out of Red Deer. She moved to Toronto when she was 16 to be at the National Center. She's very close to that qualifying time. Daniel Hannes from Newmarket went to school at the University of Victoria, trains out on the West Coast. She'll have lane number two. Lane number one is Ashley McMillan. Great improvement this morning from Penticton. Was on the World Junior Team in 2019. And rounding out this 10-lane field, Jean-Bierre Sasville, originally out of Chatham, Ontario, 18 years of age, was also on that Junior Worlds team in 2019. This is a 10-lane pool, but they go from lane 0 to lane 9. It just works better for the scoreboard. That's why it's not lane 1 to lane 10. So just in case you're wondering why there's a 0 lane, it's down at the bottom. Lane 9 is at the top. So again, lane 0 closest to the camera, Sasville, then 1 is McMillan, 2 is Hannes, 3 is Smith. Four is McNeil, five is Savard, six is Zavaros, seven is Fernandez, eight is Gormley, and up at the top is Josie Field. Again, Maggie McNeil in lane four. Take your marks. And they are off in this women's 100 meter butterfly final. The strength for Maggie McNeil is her underwater powerful kick, and you'll see that at the turn when she comes off. It's almost like she's shot out of a gun she comes off that wall so fast. She can just stay a little bit ahead of the field now. You'll watch her accelerate away on the second length of this two-lap race. It was a giant upset when she beat the world record holder at the World Championships, and she's in control of the race at this point. And the split for Maggie McNeil, 26-4-0 for the NCAA Swimmer of the Year, and she is just coming out of the water and strong looking ahead of the field. And that was again that brilliant turn. Right now, Rebecca Smith is in second spot. Kat Savard is in third. Savard was third five years ago at these trials. One of these two women are going to finish second. If they can get to that cutoff time, they might be named to the Olympic team, but it's all Maggie McNeil against the fastest time in the world so far. McNeil touches first, and she does it in 56 1 9. And in second place, it is Katrin Savard. Just ahead of Rebecca Smith in just behind her in third place. And, and that's a big, big swim for Kat Savard on the right. She retired. They asked her to come back out of retirement. They filmed a movie called Nadia Butterfly, and she just qualified for the Olympic team after missing it five years ago in the 100 meter butterfly. She's qualified and made it. Great start for Maggie McNeil. Also, Kat Savard on the top of her in lane number five. McNeil in the middle. Now, watch this turn. This is very impressive. Notice how there's two swimmers turn right together, but watch the difference when McNeil surfaces. She has a body length on the rest of the field. That's something she works on. Sometimes you're just basically born with a really good flexibility in your ankles and your hips, and she's got a great kick. And then coming home was just simply finishing to the wall. She probably won't be extremely excited about that time. She did that three weeks ago at a meet here in Toronto at this pool. Probably expected a bit faster, but she's still one of the top five times in the world right now going into the Olympic Games. So Katrin Savard gets potentially Byron that second qualifying spot, potentially